Security Clark speaking. Hey, boy, how you doing? Pretty good. Who is this? Hey, this is Cross. In a little bit, they're going to be delivering a package down there for me and some beers. Who now? Uh, they're going to be delivering some beers and a package for me down there in a little bit. Some pizzas are going to come later, and then some chicks are going to come that I call off of Craigslist. You got the right building here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Right. Yeah, totally. You said they're going to be bringing you some beer. Uh, a package. Uh, a don't, package. Don't open the package, and then there's going to be some beers, and they're going to be delivered by the liquor store, and then uh, some pizzas, and then some girls that I called off of uh, Craigslist. Some girl you call on Craigslist. Uh, girls, girls, multiple girls. Girls. Yeah. What's your What's your name? Cross. Cross. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. All right. Hey, um, do what you, time is this supposed to be about? It's it's in a little bit. We're going to be having an orgy here. Um, I don't know if maybe, I mean, we've got plenty of condoms here. If you're interested, maybe you want to come down. Yeah, okay. I'll be right there. Hold on. All right. I was remembering your Motel 6 calls, Jen. Remember when you uh, called yeah, me? yeah. Security at the uh, hall. How may I help you? Yeah, how are you, man? How are you doing? Doing good. Good. Uh, listen, I'm upstairs. Uh, basically, I ordered some girls on, on Craigslist. What I'm trying to do is get as many people as I can to kind of come in, and we're just going to have a bit of fun. We're going to have a bit of party. Do you know what I mean? You're going to have a party? Yeah, you know, well, kind of a party. It's kind of a party, you know what I mean? But it's, it's like, uh, you know, I'm hoping to get, I'm hoping to get laid. To be honest with you, um, I've just, I've called about three different girls on on Craigslist, and you know, I'm really like, I'm looking forward to them coming over. But basically, I don't have any more guys. And um, you know, are you busy right now? <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. Listen, I know. I know. It sounds weird and everything, but you know what? You only live once, right? You might as well make the most of it. Yeah, I mean, I'm working. I'm working uh, security right now. Yeah, I don't uh, worry about it. Like, like you could take you could take an hour or two hours and just, just come and have some fun. Well, I mean, if they didn't have all these cameras, then yeah, I'd be. Don't worry for it. about it. I mean, for your security, you you can get around that, right? You don't have to worry about that. You can join in. You know what I mean? So these really hot girls. I got one girl. She's like, um, you know, I I ordered like a midget, and she's like, she's like four feet or something, and she's like she's totally hot. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. She's really like she's a little bit chubby. It's fucking awesome, mate. You should you should come in and uh, you should should join us. You can fuck a midget. Are you here? B- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here, man. I'm I'm upstairs. Uh, if you if you just come up and then uh, basically just give it like I think in the next half an hour the girls should come. And if you see like a midget right, and you dude. see a girl um, wearing a um, uh, <laughs> You're wearing a nurse's uniform, um, then you know you know you got the right girls, right? So one girl's wearing a nurse's uniform, then you have got a midget in a, in a leather suit, and then you've got um, another another girl who's just I don't know what she's going to be wearing. I told her to wear stilettos, so she's probably going to have really like high heels or something. So you know you're looking out for three girls, and when they come, you know um, you can you can just come up with them. You know what I mean? Well, I mean you, you would have to let them in though, as a student though. Yeah, yeah, but I'll do that. I'll do that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, this is the thing about being in America. I can just, I have the freedom to kind of do what I want. And it's like, oh, fucking hell, I love America. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you so could if, uh, 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 Craigslist could do that, though. What? I didn't know you could do that from Craigslist. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, you can just go on Craigslist and you can, like, if, there's guards on there all the time, man. You can get whatever you want. Like, if I, like this midget, I'm really into midgets. I fucking love midgets. It's so hot. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, you, you just go on Craigslist and you just look in the section in the, in the personals and you, you'll find it. You know what I mean? Huh. I'll have to check that out, man. <laughs> you got to check that shit out, man. So are you, are you joining us? I mean, do, 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 would you fuck a midget? Uh, yeah, I would, but, I mean, I'd rather make money first. <laughs> yeah, no, you can make money and come up. I'll tell you what, I'll pay you for your time. You just come up and you can, you can fuck a midget. Well, I mean, if I if I get caught away, though, you know, like I said, they got video cameras, so yeah, I'll, I know, but we can get around that. Don't worry about that. No, like, that's not really a problem. I mean, maybe you can bring the video camera. We can we can film it. We can, you know what I mean? No. <laughs> uh, so, hey, I, yeah, have you ever done anything like? Have you ever done anything with a man? Have you ever like been with a man? No way. No way. But no, I mean, you sound like uh, a nice guy. I mean, maybe maybe you can come up and maybe I'll, I'll like I'll touch you. No. I'm not. I don't swing that way. 
at all. Yeah, I mean, you, I've never done it, but you might enjoy it. You know what I mean? I've got quite a nice, yeah, you know, I've got a nice cock. Maybe you can, I'll put it in your bum. <laughs> wow. That, those are fighting words. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think you'd enjoy it. You know, have you ever stuck your finger up there? No, uh uh-uh. No, you should try it. It's nice. You can do like a prostate massage while you're having a wank. It's brilliant. Hey, I'm gonna have to go, man. I, uh, I right, uh, you come up and join come, us, man. To... Come up and join us. Let's do a prostate get massage. Hold on, just a second. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is <just> fighting words. <laughs> Well, security. How may I help you? Hey, is there like a central security desk or are you all like in the hall? Huh. Hello? Uh, what do you mean? Like, you're you're downstairs, right? You're not like yeah. in some other yeah. hall? Yeah. Uh-huh. Alright, cool. I just wanted to make sure I get the right person, you know? Like... Oh, okay. Are you going to be here for the next two hours? Like, when? how long is your shift? Yeah, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, to eight o'clock. What's going on? Oh, uh, because we're gonna we're having a party, kind of. So we just wanted huh? to make sure it was cool. Like you're welcome to come in. Where are you party at? In the room, one of the rooms here. Oh, oh, upstairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, is that all right? Like you're cool with it? Well, I was already right, know about it, I guess. All right. I mean. There, I mean, it's like a sex party, you know. So that's kind of like what we're doing. Like you, you, you know, like uh, you know those parties they used to do where you put your keys in a fishbowl. Oh, uh, not really. <laughs> All right, so you, you know, you got a pair of keys, right? Everyone puts them in a the fishbowl, and then mm-hmm. you pass it around, and whoever's keys you get out, that's who you have sex with. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So we got like you know a good number of people here. So we, I also called some people off of Craigslist, you know. Uh huh. Um, some women, and they're going to be coming down. Also, hopefully, if you can make sure that um, they get, they know what room they need to get to. But if they need to know, you can just tell them how to get up here. Uh, yeah. What what room is it? I mean, I'd rather not tell you just in case you know you want to. But they'll they'll know what room they need to go to. Ah, uh, okay. They know, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, are those guys down there playing hockey table right now still? Because I need to talk to them. Yeah, yeah, they stand playing. Can you tell them I'm calling? I don't even know who you are. Cross. Cross? Yeah, tell them it's important. I need to talk to them. Hold on. All right, thanks. Hey, uh, Cross, hey, this is for you. <laughs> Cross, you know him? You can buy no Cross. And if I don't cry. Bro. You said you wanted to talk to one of y'all. You said his name is Crow. You get the name of the person first, and then you can ask for them next time. Hello. Hey, boy, how you doing? Good. Hey, good. Listen, uh, we have a few noise complaints regarding your playing there. Could you guys keep it down a little bit, please? Uh, yeah. I was getting kind of late. How much later were you thinking about playing? Because it's already 20 after. Oh, yeah, we'll quit in a little bit. Can you guys go ahead and just stop now? Yeah. Like right now? All right. Uh, do you, are you residents here? Do what? Are you residents in the hall or somewhere else? Y- yes. All right, can you guys just go ahead and go back to your rooms? Yeah, sure. All right, thanks. And can you give the phone back to security? I appreciate it. All right. Hello? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I, I let them know they need to come back up. Okay. All right, can you make sure that they know that they need to... Can you just let the... I don't think you understood. Can you say that I was just saying that they need to come up, please? Say what? Can you just let them know that I was telling them that they need to come up? Because I think you might have been confused. Can you just let them make make sure that they know that I was asking that they need to come back up here? Okay. Okay, like as soon as possible. It would be appreciated because they have to clean a lot of stuff before these girls get here. All right. Can you let them know that, please? Okay. All right, okay. And listen, really, keep the noise down there also, okay? All right, I'll let them know. All right. Later. All right, thanks, homie. Mm-hmm. All right, bye. Thank you for calling Hall at Campus Housing. My name is Sean. How can I help you? Oh, hey, uh, we got a problem here. Uh, what's what? up? Uh, there's a chicken loose. 
A chicken? Yeah, so I don't know if someone brought in like a joke, like someone brought in a chicken here. An actual chicken. Where is it? It's in the hallway, and I'm trying to catch it. It's actually like really violent. What floor? Uh, I don't even know. I'm not coming out from here. I think it's second. Are you inside se- Miller Hall right now? Yeah, I'm in Miller Hall, yeah. Okay, you don't know what floor you're on? I'm on the second floor. I'm really fucked up right now, man. But, like, so these guys, they came in. I thought it was going to be funny. They put a j- chicken in here. But the chicken, like, he's broken a bunch of stuff. I think he's got, like, rabies or something. Okay. Do you hear so him? Don't mess- yeah, I hear it. Don't mess with it. Just stay close. Keep an eye on it. I will send them. It's got red eyes, red fire eyes. Mm-hmm. And it's foaming at the mouth. Okay, well, like I said, don't mess with it. Just stay there. Keep an eye on it. I'll Is someone on the way? Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. And I, I'm from the... I live in the hall, and I was over here where we were having, like, sex and stuff like that. So, but this fucking chicken, man. And you're in the hall on the second floor? Yeah, but I'm from the hall, but I was here visiting. Okay, but, and you're signed in here? Uh, I don't know, because I think cause it was a sex party. We didn't really want to be signing in and stuff. Uh-huh. Okay, well, just stay there with it. I will call somebody, and they'll be all right. All right, can you hurry, please? Because I really need to get out of here. Yeah, I'll send somebody right up. All right, thanks. All right. Cool. Good old thing. Thanks to call, Mrs. Sweet, and as we can help you. Yes, hello. I've got a bit of a problem. I've been trying to like because I'm in, I'm in, I'm on the third floor. I've just had a lot to drink, and I'm a little bit drunk. And basically, I've got, <coughs> I got chicken in my room, and I wanted to know, like, if you could help me because I've never done this before. But basically, I need to do with the have, chicken. Like, you have what like, in your room? I have the chicken in my room. You have a chicken in your room? Yeah, I have the chicken in my room because I took the chicken into the hotel with me. And basically, because I'm I'm li- I'm into this kind of zoo stuff, so I'm like I want to I love really like animals, and I would just want to touch the chicken. Hello. Uh, I don't understand why you have a chicken in your room. Yeah, because I brought it into the room. Basically, I snuck it up here when nobody was looking. I just kind of come in and then I like because I got in the elevator and I was literally on the third floor. And because the room's like right next to the elevator, I thought, you know, nobody's going to know about this. So that's why I bought the chicken. But now I can't. It's kind of like it's running around the room kind of half naked because I tried to shave the feathers off the back. You're staying here in the hotel right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the third floor, and basically what's happened is that, um, unfortunately, the chicken has escaped, and it's gone into the hallway, and now I can't catch it, and basically it's just running around there, so um, I'm just having a bit of a problem, because I, is it, um, and basically, can you get the chicken back to me, because I need to do something with the chicken? You're, I'm sorry, but you're joking with me, right? No, no, I'm ser- what do you mean I'm joking with you? What are you talking about? This is serious. I'm, I'm very serious. I need to get the help from the hotel people. Like, but I need you to be like discreet. Your, so don't tell. Sorry. What is your room number? Three ten. Your name is. Mr. Stewart, basically, I'm, listen, uh, this is very discreet. I don't need you to talk to anybody. I, I need you to be very what quiet about this. Sorry? What is your name? Mr. Stewart, Jin Stewart. <laughs> you got it in the Yeah. Jin, what is the jam singing? Excuse me, um, my chicken is escaping, and uh, I need your help, please. Uh, what's your last name? This is Stuart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T. Okay, but once you check in there. What? When are you supposed to check in? No, I, I don't know. I brought the chicken with me. I'm extremely high on something that I took earlier. So now the chicken is kind of running around and I cannot catch it. I need somebody to help me, please. Okay, but where are you right now? I'm upstairs. I don't really know what the where the you know the hallway upstairs in the first floor. In the what floor? In the first floor. Okay. There's a little bit of uh, you know where the elevator is. Uh huh. 
Yeah, I'm outside the chair, but the chicken is going everywhere in the hallway. Just can you please come and send somebody? You are in the elevator right now? No, I'm just next to it. I'm just because I cannot catch the chicken. It keeps running away. I try to touch it, it runs away. So I cannot catch it. Can you please come now? On the first floor. Yeah, because if uh, what happens if another guest is seeing the chicken? Can you please come and help me get the chicken? Okay, I want little more. Okay. Can you come now, please, immediately? Okay, you said you're on the first floor, right? I'm on the first floor. I'm staying here with my mom, and basically the chicken is there because I saw that. But can you please come immediately, please? Okay, I'm here on the first floor. That's why I ask you because there are no rooms on the first You're floor. You're not on exactly the first where... floor. Where, the, where are you exactly? Because there's a chicken here. You don't see the chicken? No, I'm here in the front desk. That's why. Well, then come to the first floor. What are you doing at the desk? Come up immediately, please. Okay, can you come to the front desk? No, because so I, I can... need this chicken. I need you to come up and help me get the chicken, please. No, yes, I understand, sir, but I cannot understand you very correctly right now. You're saying that you're on the first floor, but we don't have any rooms on the first floor. That's why. That's the hallway, you stupid cunt. I'm saying the fucking chicken escaped. Are you fucking retarded? Can you please just come and help me get the chicken? Okay, I'm going to go there and verify, sir. But if I can't find come, you, I need you to come here to the front desk. Thank come you very now, much. Immediately. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Mission Valley, I help. How can I help? Hey, how you doing, big girl? Hello. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, how you doing? I like I'm to make. Good. I like to make an order. I'm gonna pick it up. All right. Mhm. Mm what can I get for you? All right, one eggs. Regular scramble over easy or medium? Cooked. Okay. How would you like them cooked? Uh, with a little bit of heat in there. You know, throw some heat on it. All right. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Some meat. Okay. Some what good, kind of meat? Nice meat. You know, some nice, good-tasting meat. Uh, make sure it's hot. All right. Mm -hmm. I cook it up a little bit on the heat. A little, throw some heat in there, mix in it with the heat. All right. Anything else? Uh, yeah, what do you have for drinks to go? We got Pepsi, Squirt, Mountain Dew, coffee, hot chocolate. Oh, you guys squirt? Yes, anything you, else? You do squirt? Okay. Yeah, I'll take a squirt. Okay. Where are we doing this? Are you going to place an order for real? Hey, you know what squirt is, right? You know what I'm talking about, right? It's a sexual thing. Hey, do you know... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, thank you for calling my help. Oh, hey, honey. You sound so cute and nice. How are you? I'd like to make an order? Yes, what can I order for you? Okay, I'd like some eggs. How are you like eggs? You, um, you take an egg and you uh, tap it on the, on its side on the table. And then you open it up. <laughs> really? I just... Uh, I didn't even do anything yet. I didn't even get into it yet. I didn't even get the punchline. I know. I didn't get heat in there or nothing. Cold, damn cold. All we got is a cold, I broken egg. They, they will hang up on me just for general creepiness a lot of times. So. <laughs> like, I don't need to say anything. Just time Hello? Ask. Hello? Who, who is this? Yeah, I was trying to make an order. Okay, what can I get for you? I uh, needed e some eggs. <laughs> yeah, that's a lady from before. She remembers. Hello? What? Yeah, hey, why don't you close that big oyster between your legs? God. Oh my God, you're such a loser. You're you're dirty bitch. Excuse me, excuse me, lady. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Hi, yeah, I was calling regarding the oysters. Uh, can you shut that really yeah. big, can you shut that really big rotten one, um, that you got there in between your legs? Uh, the one, the really big rotten stinking one between your legs. Could you just close that one, please? Uh-oh. She does not look happy. She looks shut. She's about to cry. Did you hear that? 
<laughs> okay, so that number just called me again. Hello? Hello, Mr. Smith. I'm transferring over to Jen Stewart. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Smith. Uh? Yeah, I'm a number 10. Uh, you know, you know there's stuff on the road outside your door. Um, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but you've been throwing shit out because I know that it was oh, no, outside no, my it's house. Not, it's not, so, it's not me. It's next door. It, it probably is you because I put it back in front of your house because it was in front of mine. So I've just moved it in front of yours, just so you know. No, it's it's uh, you know the shit that's it's it's not in it's not mine. It's next door. No, 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 no. Listen, I'm I'm at number ten, and somebody's yeah. been putting shit outside my door. It's literally right in front of the door. So what I've done, I've taken everything. There was like nappies and bags and all that stuff, and there was just crap everywhere. So I've just picked it up and I put it outside in front of your door, number fourteen, right? Oh yeah, yeah it's outside your door because you put it outside mine. So I've put it outside yours. Oh, hold on, I didn't put it there. You fucking did. You obviously, obviously, you did because I saw you do it. No, when? I've been to I the doctor yesterday. No, uh, early, early, earlier yesterday you did it. I saw you. I, what you, where, yeah, I watched where, you put it out there. Where are you? I'm at number 10. T- m- number 10, um, Parkillas? Yeah, I said, of course. Pardon? Of course. I said, of course I'm there. I'm at number 10, Parkillas. Yeah. Hold on, who's number 10? Yeah, that's me. Mr. Stewart. Stewart. The ten, with your ten. Hold on. Yeah. Let Let me talk. Can I talk to her, please? Hello. Who is it? Yes, Mr. Stewart, Mrs. Smith. Listen, I'm I'm at number ten. Somebody's been putting stuff. I think it's your husband. Obviously, it's your husband. He's been putting stuff outside my door, literally like bags no. and nappies, and outside my. So I've taken it and put it outside your door. This is number fourteen. Are you from Glen Crossland? Sorry? Are you, where do you live? I'm at number 10 Park Ellis. You're not listening to me. Somebody put yeah, stuff... I know, it was, I know it was you. Shut up a minute. Shut up when I'm talking, all right? You put stuff well, outside my door. You shut up and listen. Yeah? You do not phone people at 6 o'clock in the morning when you have no idea what you're talking about. No, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I took the stuff that you threw out, so you've been polluting and littering... Outside my, uh, you know, outside my door. So I've just done no the same to you. What you're talking about? No, you do know because you did it. You, you, you stupid. You do not it's... live in ten packing You see, yeah, I fucking do. What do you mean do I don't live there? Don't? You... What? <laughs> what? What are you talking Bye. about? All right, I... Jen, you got it. Fine, you got, yeah, you got what you wanted with a nice juicy UK call. Uh, hello. Hello, Mrs. Moore. Yes. Yes, hello, how are you? It's Mr. Stewart. Oh, From yes, number hello. 60. Yeah, yes. uh, I was just listening. I was wondering if uh, you'd like to take a walk with me this morning. Um, I'm sorry, thank you. Well, hi, Hello. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, thank you. What the I'm fuck? Sorry, yeah, she you. didn't answer the question. She just said she was sorry. Yeah, for what? Same lady. Same lady. Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Moore. Yes. Yeah, Mrs. Moore, listen. I, I just want to take a walk with you this morning along the high street. I saw some things that I thought perhaps that you owned because I know that you're at 68 and you throw some things out of the window. And there are like a lot of things there on the high street, and I just wondered if you take a walk with me so I can show you, and then you can pick them up and put them in the bin like a good lady. I don't throw things at the window, thank you. Yes, you said that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Mrs. Cook? Yes. Hi, ma'am. I'm sorry. We got a little confused there with the phone. Ha, ha, ha. I'm calling because there's a problem with the water. Have you uh, flushed the loo in the last 24 hours? In the last 24 hours? Yes. Um, can't remember. Okay, can you, could you do so now? Let me know what the color of the water is, please. It's, it's uh, important. There's a problem with the water lines. We're trying to track where the sandwich is. Okay. Okay, thank you. I can say what is in the sandwich. <laughs> sandwich in the water lines. Oh, 
big fucking it's sub. Is it's a big sub sandwich. sandwich. There's no problem. All right, you didn't see like a sandwich come through in the water when you flushed it. No. Okay. Good. Not. Okay. Yeah, because my son, he's stupid, and he said like he said sub like submarine, and he put it <laughs> down the toilet, and I really want my sandwich back, so you know. <laughs> Because that's my dinner. Well, I'm very sorry, but it's not my toilet. Thank you. Oh, oh well, what are you doing in there, then? You fucking a guy in there? In the house? What do you mean? Uh, this is a private flat. Yeah, I know, but you said it's not your toilet, so then I guess maybe you're in there having it sex with... It is my toilet. There's nothing wrong with my toilet. You just said it's not your toilet. I thought maybe you were you had a gentleman caller, or you were a female caller. No, I didn't say that. I just said oh. it's... There's okay. nothing wrong with my toilet. Well, is, there okay. anything, is there anything wrong with your pipes down there, you know? No. You're down there? If you know Where what I mean. are you ringing from? Huh? Oh, I'm from the call center, the United Water call center. <sighs> we do the after-hours calls because the U.K. office is closed at this time, but we're still open in the United States, so we take over the calls overnight. That's all. Hi, how you doing? Right, I don't know what okay. to say to you. What how how are your, your, like your private pipes down there? Are everything okay? Everything develop, uh, develop normal down there? Yes. Okay, I yes, just want to make sure. Yes, it is. I just want to make sure everything was developing normally, you know. And I'm one flat in a house. Okay, there's four flats. You're here. Lo- okay, cool. Uh, cool. Well, did you have any more questions for me? Maybe you're curious. No, I don't think so. Except it's the middle of the night. <laughs> okay, Matt, you want to say something dirty to her real quick? Oh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Hey, wake up, stupid. There you go. <laughs> Call me off guard. How you doing, sweetheart? Hello. Hello, Mr. White. Speaking. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm at number two, Murray Court. Uh, I'm sorry to yeah. disturb you at this hour. Uh, you basically yeah. you left a can outside the door. Uh, probably, I think uh, earlier earlier tonight, and uh, I got the can, uh, but it's too big. It's sorry. It's too big. The can that you left for me. It's too big. A can. Yeah, yeah, you left a can. Yes, I, I don't know. You probably did it last night, didn't you? You left a can yeah. outside my door, and uh, I took it and I put, you know, I, I properly, I properly lubricated the can, but it just doesn't, it doesn't fit. For four? What's the can for? It's. It, what do you mean? What's it for? You left it there, I, so I thought I know, well, I maybe, maybe I'll take it and I'll, I'll just lubricate it, and I tried to put it in my bum, but it just it won't, won't go. It's too, too big. I don't know so what you're talking if, about. I'm wondering if you have a smaller can. Do you have a, do you have a can that might fit? I'm sorry, you're talking nonsense. No, no, I'm not, Mr. White. Um, I, I'm literally opposite you. I don't know why you would say something like that. Hello? Do it. He's in limbo. There he goes. There he goes. All uh, right. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Thank you for calling Best Buy. This is Brianna speaking. How may I help you? Hey, big bye, Brianna. Am I talking to a person, finally? Yes. Oh, good. I need to talk to someone, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what's wrong? Yeah, I need to talk to someone regarding the machines. Regarding the machines? Mm-hmm. Do you know which machines? Uh, just the machines. Machine department. Like computers? Yeah, just machines, machine department. Okay, hold on, let me transfer you, okay? Okay, thanks. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope you don't mess it up. (laughs) She heard all that. (laughs) And the IHOP lady finally hung up. She was listening that whole time. Oh, really? I kept her on. Hello? Thank you for calling this, but you're talking to break your phone. Yeah, can I speak to television machines, please? For sales, delivery, installation... Well, are you the, are you in a store or are you in the main center? No, yes, it's the call center. What? No, yes, it's the call center. Yeah, I don't know how I got to you. I was talking to the store and they put me through to you. That's stupid. Okay, and you want to stick with a sales agent, delivery agent? Yeah, yeah, because you sound like shit. Like, I can barely hear you. Hey, what the fuck is going on? Hey, we gotta go, man. Dead's here. We're gonna talk to the dead for a while, okay? Excellent, sir. Cyber Express is inventing this discretion. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, good. I need to make an order. What kind of order? 
Uh, one coffee with heat. Coffee with what? Heat. That's so not. We we don't take orders over the phone. That's so not what. Where are you going with that? I'm sorry. Where were you going with that? I said we don't take orders over the phone. Well, before that, you said that's so not, and then you went a different angle. No, that's not what I said. I said I couldn't. Oh, I heard. I heard what you said. It's okay. Uh, do you have, did you start pumpkin spice yet? We don't. When do you start the pumpkin spice? Um, it's in a few weeks. All right. What's well, a few? I'm sorry. What's well, a few? I'm sure you got the literature there. I'm not understanding what you're saying. Like, I'm sure you could. Can you uh, talk to someone else? Because you're really pissing me off. I'm the supervisor in charge. All right. Is there a man I can talk to? A what you can talk to? A man. A man? Mm hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, like a man, you know, above a woman like you. I know you're a manager, but not like a male manager. I don't manager. think that's appropriate. Well, it would help out the situation a lot more because between me and you, we're not getting along with this gender difference on the phone. I can hear your, you know, your female kind of aggression towards me. It's not aggression. I didn't understand what she said a few times, so... Well, I mean, you started off saying, that's so not. I'm like, oh, here we go. That's not what I said. Another typical Starbucks asshole fucking response. Typical asshole. Yep. Uh, Daddy. Who's this? Yeah, Daddy, this is Mr. Stewart. How are you doing? This is Jim Stewart. Hold on one second. I got to attention my, my, my underpants. Okay. What you doing there? <laughs> Daddy. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Daddy, how you doing? Uh, listen, I uh, I saw you peeing on the road uh, earlier today, and uh, I uh, I got a picture of it, and um, I'm, I'm quite excited about the picture because it makes me feel nice, and I was wondering if you could just pee on me. You want me to pee on you? Yeah, because you were peeing on the road, and I was watching you do that. And while you were doing that, I was I was massaging myself, and I was you know I was relieving myself on my on my cock. And uh, I thought it was really nice that you were peeing on the road, and I thought maybe you'd come around and uh, pee on me. Oh, you saw me pee on the road today? Yeah, yeah, I saw you pee, and I was watching, and yeah, I was enjoying was you I was doing that, and I was, bottle. you know. I was holding the Dos Equis bottle, and then I fell over into that fucking rock. You busted my head yeah. over. Did you see that place? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, saw I'm that, and, and it, I, I thought anymore. it was really okay. cool, and I thought it was sexy. Oh, dude, you can totally take my picture whenever you want. Yeah, can you come over and maybe pee on me, or maybe I could come to you? Can I come to you right now, and maybe you could pee on me? Uh, you could totally come to me right now, but I'm on top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere, and I really don't have any cars to come pick you up to bring you up to me, unless you have a car God, and you want to come up. God damn it, I got a helicopter. I got a chopper. I'm going to come up there, and we can pee for the chopper on you. Fuck, oh, dude, that would be so cool, dude. I would drink it's so your fucking pee awesome, pee right? Oh, top. my God. The only problem is, if you ever peed off of anything higher than two stories, your pee ends up fucking, like, sprinkling after, like, a really? third story. Like, after one story, your pee sprinkles. What do you think if, if the two of us were, like, peeing on, on, from a mountain so I might have to on, hold on to somebody the bottom, else? The bottom bar of the helicopter, maybe even hanging in midair with you, while you're yeah. peeing, and I think we could do it, but the problem is, I think the fucking, the, the wind from the propellers yeah. might make your pee gust like mist. Like God damn it. Mist, what if we drink liters and gallons of, of, of water? Like, like five gallons of water, we could just drink it and then just pee all, all day. Oh, well, you know, you know what would be really cool? If we yeah. did like a 69 thing, where like, I mean, this would have to be done laying down. But yeah. your head by my cock and your cock by my head. Oh, just oh my God, pee. that's so hot. Think oh, my that God, that, that just makes me so hard, man. Right there. That is awesome. I really want to do this with you. Where are you right now? Can I come over and we can try this? I'm, I'm on my way, okay? I'm going to be there very shortly. And we get yourself ready and just drink lots of water and get yourself prepared and get yourself hard because we're going to do it hard. You know what I mean? 
I love going hard. I'm hard right now. See, I'm always hard. But the hard. problem, the hard. problem is when hard. you're hard. You can't, you know, you can't pee when you're hard. It's, it's hard to pee, right? Hey, <laughs> hey, how you doing, sushi girl? Hi, how are you? Hey, good. So before I get down there on some sushi, I'm going to be putting some sake on the end of my finger. Can you speak a little bit? I can't hear you. I need what to put some. Say? I'm going to be putting some sake on the end of my finger. Are well, you going to order some sushi? Yeah, do you have sake? We do have a sake, but we don't do to go for sake. You don't do sushi with sake? What? No, sake. You can come down here and drink it, but we don't do to go and sake. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go down there. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, want, I want to put it on the end of my finger. What does that mean? Well, I'll put the socket into my finger before I stick it up your vagina, and if so, I know if you have anything bad. <laughs> no, I got your information. If you keep calling like that, hey, we're gonna hello. call to someone else. Uh, he- hello, okay? what? Hello. Oh, hello. We're not gonna do business with you, though. Bye. No, no, excuse me. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Man of ten voices. Switch with Mission Belly. Can I help you? Yeah, hi there. I um, my name is Jim Stewart. I uh, I'm a local guy. I live in the area, and uh, I heard you guys are like really good sushi. And uh, I, I just wanted to get some information there about the sushi. Can you tell me about the sushi? What is it? I said, can you tell me about the sushi? I'm a local resident there, and I, I yeah, live yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can explain. You can ask me what was it. What would you like to ask it about sushi? Okay, all righty. Uh, so, do you have the teriyaki on the on the on the fish? We don't have any teriyaki sauce on the fish. Oh, can I get the teriyaki with the fish? We don't do any teriyaki with either than salmon. Salmon we have with the teriyaki sauce. What kind of hot? Do you have any hot sauce? Hot what? Hot hot? Yeah, yeah, hot sauce that I can put on my food, on my on my sushi. I want to get like a hot, really hot, exciting sauce. Do you have anything that's really spicy? We don't. The Japanese food is not hot. Oh, okay, but but do you have anything that's hot? That's what I'm asking. We do have you a know, hot sauce you? on the side. If you want, we can get you a hot sauce on the side. Oh, that sounds nice. And can I put it on my finger and stick it up your ass? Uh, excuse me, I think I spoke to you a while ago. No, I'm not the same guy. I'm a different guy. What, 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 what was gonna? What was? What do you mean, same? It's a different guy. You guys have a. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're I, not I gonna order, get can, the you hot hung, sauce can I hang up, please? No. You got foreskin, huh? You got little clansmen. No, I put an actual hood. The same kind I wear to the meetings. I put a hood oh, on dude, my dude, penis. You already fucked up. You got clansmen TV, dude. You got fucking... You got foreskin, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that shit looks disgusting in the shower, bitch. You don't use the N-word here, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You don't use that around me. No, Mexican or what's the N-word? No, no, the N-word. You don't use that here. Yeah, what's the funny part? Who is actually for him? His My white dad, high school, uh, not graduated, but white high school graduate. So a bunch of young punks, they were too stupid to come out of school and lazy. And now they're pissed because, like, oh, boy, the guys that are taking all the poor jobs, the Mexican stuff, are getting jobs, but they're too good to work at them. And they're sitting on their ass complaining and playing damn PlayStation games and getting drunk and stoned or whatever else. But they sure ain't worried about making money. It's like, I work seven days a damn week. I mean, that's yep. all I do yep. because it's so expensive to have a bed here. Dude, that fucking I don't get a high paying job. It's tough. Don't pay that darn good. So you've got to put hour after hour, mile after mile, continuously. That, and it's got the rates, you know, and it's great for customers. But, like, you really got to be out here all the time. Work out Walmart, be, you know, fun, early right? on, you could come, you know, work three, four days. You have a week's worth of pay. No more. Yeah. So it's yeah. changed. The game's changed a lot, man. The game has been changing. I don't know how well, I started happened. them with the Uber taxi. So oh, Uber, years. Uber, Uber, dude. Forget about it, dude. Huh. Try selling drugs and that shit, dude. Ain't nobody pulling you over at Uber. You got that shit all day, cuz. You'll be my next Mexican asking for ten fucking balloons. <laughs> Give me ten black, ten black. Ten black, ten black, ten white. Please, all day. <laughs> I love Uber. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. You All guys right. are killing it, man. Fucking, uh, don't let somebody suck your dick to a car. 
All right. See you. Thanks. Bye. 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 I, 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 I love you. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Okay. Bye. No homo. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> Bookman completely came in, so, the, took himself off of a mute talking to his customer, and didn't realize <laughs> that guy just went with it. Oh, fucking time. I, I don't know what Twitter's are you, talking can about. Can you check for me? No, no, I'm busy right now. All right, why don't you hang up the phone then, motherfucker? Mm-hmm.